against? Well, I mean, I wouldn't expect them to against anyone else. But uh, yeah, but like. 3 0, damn. 3 0 is crazy. Yeah. 3 0 is done. Wow. Draft Jack is very, very good, of course. But Apples and Quinn riding high off the momentum of the last set. They lost to Phuket Freak and Winners 2 0, and then just 3 0'd them and went losers. Yeah. Quinn is a player that's like really come into the scene pretty fast. Like, he moved from, from I think, a NorCal, right? Or Oregon. And then was kind of just like showing up occasionally, and then Wisdom, he got 17. Who? Quinn. Oh, really? Wait, he was from Oregon? Oregon and or NorCal, one of the two. I, you sure? I think you're confusing it for that one Peach player that was a journalist. You might be right. But there was a journalist, Peach player, that came here from, like, Oregon or whatever, and... Oh, yeah, no, no. So I think from Quinn is from... Uh, he's, in Nor he's in California for sure, I know that. Really? Yeah. I thought he was just up north. Oh. Wow. No, I, I believe it's NorCal. I think that's on his, on his uh, Star GG profile. I'll have to ask him. Yo, should be dead. Hold ledge. No, nope, not dead. Good down smash, though. Oh, oh no unlucky. fastball. Oh. You got a fastball. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. It's harder to fastball is Peach to ledge because of the float. Yeah. Peach sucks. Reminder. Oh, wow. That's a bad trade. That's the, that's the, that's the Koopa Troopa. <laughs> the run forward, forward smash. I saw in the message trigger yesterday, Andy Finister was getting updates on Koopa versus Zio. And he's like, I don't know where they'll go for first game. Oh, they went Dreamland, or they went like, I don't know, they went like FOD, something like that. And then uh, the, the next message is literally, oh, nice down air. The next message from Andy is literally, Koopa opens the game with run forward, forward smash. <laughs> And someone go, and just like four LMAOs in a row. It's like the most predictable thing of all time. That is the Koopa. But 100 grand is hit a dare. That's the thing. Oh, wow. Hold ledge too long. Apple holds ledge too bad. long. I'm looking at the LECS. Oh, yeah, what happened? Any, any, any updates? Um, Trip and Kadoran just had like a banger set, apparently. I mean, I, I, that, that makes sense. The, six, the eight and nine seed, and they're both yeah. fantastic. Trip is so good. Kadoran won, though. Kadoran beat him 3-2, but I saw the end of game one on the replay, and Triff threw a, he back threw him and threw a stitch at him at 0% and killed him off it. Wow. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a huge EU Melee fan, as you know. I want to get in a huge thing. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. He went. All right, Hunter's DMing. Hunter's DMing. Hunter's DMing. This is just rude. This is just mean. Apples. Unplug your controller, dog. Okay, there's the tipper forward, forward, forward still. Honda, <laughs> oh, no, that's fucked up. I want you to know that. Any other stuff happened at LACS? I haven't checked. I should check that actually right now. Oh, yeah. Zane beat Zamu too, but that's not surprising. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's almost Great. like I don't trust any Fox to beat Zane except for Cody. Yeah. I think Soon could do to be grinds it. He's really good at the Mark matchup, actually. I don't think so, man. I think Cody's the only one. You think he co it's, it's Doomer? You're Doomer on that? I mean, not entirely, but like, holy shit, it looks so hard. And Mango. Mango can do it, too. He's not a, yeah, Mango too. Like, almost as much. And Leffen went cheap for a reason. But yeah, actually, I think Leffen could, too, if he played Fox, but. I agree, but. He said no. His Sheik's good. He should play Sheik. I was shocked to see Swift make bracket. I won't lie to you. I wasn't. I saw his bracket. He had like a Marth. And no, a his bracket was good, but also it was, it was more the fact that I was shocked because he did so poorly at VIP. I thought that was just a random local. No, that was Michael VIP. Oh, really? He got like seven yeah, lost to, to BB and and, and, so, and Kata. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that. Was oh my God, is Kata gonna be top 100? Yes, probably. They have Skurzo and uh, Skurzo lost to Kata in Collision. There's a lot of them in the, not every top 50 though this summer, so. He might be. He, I just feel like he has a lot of losses, right? He has a lot of bad losses, like really bad losses. Zamu's got the weird thing too, where Zamu's got a lot of bad losses, but then Does incredible. Does he, man? Like, yeah, he's got really Outside really of the losses. one tournament? Um, I, I know he just not, lost uh, the Kuzo, Not bad but losses, but like. Chef Rock, which how do you value that? Like, You value a Chef Rock loss in the top 30 loss. <laughs> I'll be real with you. It's like just a player that's it's too it's hard like to It's like you lose a hundo. You lose a hundo and you're like, whatever, man. Yeah, like the Calvar loss is not in lead. I would have to look at it. The Koopa loss isn't amazing. Koopa loss isn't great. His wins are so good. 
I mean, Cody went crazy. Zamu actually, I feel like, has been so consistent. Yeah, I will say, we gotta start talking about Zamu as one of the best in the Fox era. We got to. Uh, yeah. He like, beat Sunsei. He beat Sunsei, who what? was, like, not, not debatably before people, this. People were saying was like, the best of the video. Because he beat Moki at, at uh, the OBC. Yeah. It's clearly like some combination of like Cody, Sunsei, Moki, Leffen, Zamu. Like, yeah, I wouldn't say Leffen at this point. Leffen's lost his lo last, most of his last box. The top, top I would still bet on Leffen versus like almost Anyone every box player that's not Cody. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. I mean, he, 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 he could double even by Tuesday. He's 0-2 uh, oh, oh, on Tuesday. Yeah, but they were so close. Yeah. I think, um... Yeah. I guess I was, I was thinking it was worse than it was. Then I was thinking Zamu went 2-2 at Trail. And I was like, oh, that wasn't great. Right, like he, he, had, he had one Chef bad Rock tournament. He had one bad tournament, but outside of that, like, holy shit, he's been so consistent. Yeah, and the Cody Schwab win is so good. Yeah. Like, look at him win. He has Ginger wins. Yeah. Also, like, that... Loss won't count against Cody at all. I don't care. He's five and one on Zamu this year. Yeah. Like anyone who counts that, that Cody loss against him is ridiculous. Like that's he's five and one of the year. That's ruthless. Yeah. That's how you know a bad panelist or a bad ranker. You can't punish a like a top player for going to a lot of regionals if they win. Like, if they drop like one set, you know, like whatever. It's different dude. if he loses to Zamu. I think the it should help play. them that they attended more. If oh yeah. Anything. And it's also different if he, if he loses to Zamu and then loses the tournament as well. Yeah. It's different, but he still won the tournament. He beat double. He, he, he said, "Oh, you 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 beat me in the first set. Okay, I'll just six zero you or yeah. six one you. Cool. Tough. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, you know, uh, I'm curious to see what happens. Like, I you know, uh, some of them won't be ranked this year, so I'm uh, kind of mad about. There might be zero Samus in the top top 50 this year. Yeah, because Cooper didn't go that much, and he lost to uh, Cooper lost to a lot of people. Cooper's not going to be top 50 this year. I feel like his only good tournament was bodied two. Yes. And even that wasn't great. It was OK. Yeah, and then. He beat, like, Skurzo and Essie. Yeah, and then you have um, Morse, who's obviously, I think, top 50, but yeah, he hasn't gone anything. doesn't enter anything. Only went to bodied one and fought me. Yeah. Yeah, there probably won't be any Samus. Yeah. Look at me again before the feet of Samus. Yeah. This is this episode of <laughs> We haven't been talking about it much because let's be real. This is just the definition of skill gapping. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about the game much, but this is like I'm gonna be real, this is just the definition of skill gapping. Yeah. Like Quinn and Apples are both good, but like yeah, it's, playing, it's not too much to say You're playing about it. Hundo and the guy who beat Hungrybox. So. Right. It's just like, good luck. Chris laughing at the ass off right now. I don't know if it's so funny, but. No, I'm, 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 uh, I'm really excited for LACS. I'll probably be watching it later, you know, on my phone or whatever. Um, I, I saw some people say that they think Magic is going to beat Cody. Uh, I think it's possible. Ah, oh, man, I think she's going to get destroyed. Maybe. We'll see. I don't think Cody loses anyone not named Mango Zane. Yeah, I mean, that's the more likely scenario. I'll say, it's, Mango coming back, it's great for Amsa. I've said it before. It's really good for Amsa. Yeah. Amsa I mean, Jamu dropping out also helps and benefits a lot of, helps and hurts a lot of different top yeah, players. Yeah, hurts Amsa, benefits Cody and Zane. Hurts H-Box a lot. Oh, nice down at Hondo. Oh, the laser saved him. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that? Looks like Swift. Swift is playing. Amsa um, so, um, so up 2-0. Can't say didn't, didn't expect that. It was literally last hit in the SD. Really? No. Yeah. Uh, it, that makes it bad for Yoshi know, Amsa tanks, right? Uh, Pikachu wins, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think Amsa thinks Pikachu wins. Although it so, doesn't look that bad. It's so funny that Amsa thinks Pikachu wins, and then, uh, and then thinks Falco loses. Which I don't necessarily disagree with, actually.
They're gonna throw this game somehow. It's okay. I pray that Toad can be so funny. Gimp him. Gimp him. Take him to time, Apples. Look at that recovery. What is he doing? He's running away. Let's go, Apples! <laughs> winnable, 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 so winnable. <laughs> I don't almost have the hardest throw of all time. Oh, yeah. So we got grand finals here. Trash Jack and preeminent. A match I will actually commentate. 